scale measuring board. Should you upgrade or should you stick with what you got? Today I'm going to go over the differences, the pros and cons, and some of the features of both the Catch Carbonate or the new Yak Attack leaderboard. I'm going to go over kind of features. I'll go over the cost, obviously, and should you upgrade if you have the Catch board to the new Yak Attack leaderboard? We'll go over all those and a lot more. Let's get right into it, guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off by talking about this right here. So this is Catch's Carbonate series. This is the 26 incher. Uh, another popular size they have is the 32 incher, but this is my personal catch board in the 26 inch. It fits on a lot of the newer kayaks out. Uh, a lot of kayaks are coming out with features to accommodate this specific board. And I'm talking about the Bonafide RVR or the Bonafide PWR 129. Uh, there's a lot of different places where this is fits perfectly in and it's designed for that uh, another one is the new uh, the new canoes unlimited 10 foot series where it's got the padding on the gunnels where you can gently set this on or the 32 inch on this has kind of been the industry standard there's probably not there's not a tournament out there that i know of that does not allow this and a lot of you are familiar with the old hog trough. So the hog trough was very similar to this, maybe a little thinner and it could flex. So what a lot of people were doing was they were pressing down on the fish, maybe getting that extra quarter to half inch. And a lot of tournament series have switched primarily to catch product only. And if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Hobie BOS, you know, the Bass Open series, they go to the aluminum. So just for comparison's sake, I will be going over the carbonate, but Catch does still do the aluminum boards, which again, gives you a little bit more of that premium feel and a lot, you know, little to no flex while still being lightweight. So things I like about the Catch board, again, extremely lightweight here. It'll fit in a majority of kayaks. It goes really nicely with the Roto Grip paddle holders. And this is something that a lot of anglers had discovered in you know just the last year or two here. And especially now with the double header from Yak Attack, and I'll kind of put pictures up on the screen as I'm talking about this stuff so you guys see what that looks like. But it just snaps in place. It's right, it kind of sits on its side along the gunnel. It's kind of out of the way, but it, it's easy to just to pop it out, to put it down, put that fish on, take the picture, throw it back in, and then again, put it back on there. Um, another thing I really do like too is it's got these two little holes up here. That is for tethering, which I always suggest, you know, things happen out there. Maybe a, a motorboat goes by, throws a bunch of wake at you, tips the boat over. Again, these don't float, and I'll get to that here in a second, of course, but that is one thing to consider. Um, I've gone through one of these already, not from it sinking, it fell out of the back of a truck and I ran over it. So there's been some videos of people running over these and I'm not breaking. I, I broke the you know what out of mine. So anyways, it was actually my wife, so I shouldn't say it was mine, but uh, of course I had to buy a new one for her. But this is the 26 inch catch board. Again, absolutely zero wrong with this. So if you're rocking one of these already, you're probably asking yourself the question with the Yak Attack leaderboard coming out, is it worth the upgrade? So this board comes in at $29.99, so right at 30 bucks. If you want the ID tag holder, which I've got right here, um, basically what this does is this slides right on it, and you put that fish on the board. You've got your identifier up here that's got your numbers and letters. Uh, I know KBF does the cards that you can print out where you can put different identifiers on there. That identifier, this, this slider here, will run you another $30, $29.99. So this doubles the cost of this. Not something I was crazy about, so I didn't get it at first, but it's really worth getting this just to have the ease. And it's just, a lot of, a lot of us have done the Sharpie marker on the back of the hand while we're holding onto the fish. Or I used to have one of these little uh, plastic pockets that Jackson Kayak sells, and it's got a strap that goes around your hand and just a little bit of a neater setup. But this is convenience just this is a premium on convenience right here is basically what that is. These two together, you're looking at 60 bucks plus the accessories to hold it onto your kayak if your kayak isn't already built to hold these specifically, which just a couple of them are. I see that changing in the future, uh, but you know, it is what it is. So 
Again, that's the catch. I like it. I own it. So now we're going to go to this bad boy. This is the Yak Attack leaderboard. And you can kind of see, just for comparison's sake, the size difference. You can actually fit the catch inside the Yak Attack one here. So it is quite a bit wider. I'll kind of show some clip footage, kind of showing the comparison, the size on this. This is what originally kind of caught my eye on this. So we've all seen pictures of people, uh, you know, on Facebook, on Instagram. You see people put these gigantic fish on their catch board and it looks like it's spilling out both sides. a lot of people that follow me on Facebook to submit some pictures and I just got hammered with all these pictures of these large fish spilling over the side or you know again keep in mind that makes it a little bit harder to secure it to the board so we've all had that story of that fish jumping off like you see right here but with the yak attack board this is going to be quite a bit easier for that so not only is it wider but it's got a little bit of a ditch to it. So it's recessed down a little bit more. This is gonna allow you to press that fish down a little bit easier and it'll hold it a little bit better. Think of it as a bigger hand holding it versus a smaller hand. Again, I haven't put a 24 inch bass on one of these yet, but hopefully it's gonna hold it a little bit easier. I definitely think it will just the way the board itself is contoured. Hey everybody, I wanted to talk about today's video sponsor and that's Redodo Battery. What you see behind me here, this is the 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery that I've been using all year on my Motor Guide XI3. And I've got it hooked up to their 14.6 volt, 20 amp charger. You can check all these products on their website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can use code PADDLER to save 5%. And as always, shipping is free. They run sales periodically as well. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And they're constantly coming out with new products. So check them out. And let's get back to the video, guys. Another thing the leaderboard has is these little cull tabs here. There's three tabs on their total. So what that does is in a tournament, you're typically doing your five best fish. Think of a poker hand. So if you've got five fish on the board, you're fishing to upgrade your, your smallest fish. What this does, this allows you to slide these over to the length of your three smallest fish. So when you do put a fish on there, all you gotta do is reference the tabs and you know whether this is an upgradable fish or not. I like that. That's just such a small feature to me, but it's just a, a real nice convenience. Another thing that comes with this Again, small thing, but just something they thought about. You got this little mirrored backing on the wall here. That is something that you do not get with the catch board. Now the catch board does come with a catch branded sticker. A lot of people will put that sticker right there. So again, you're fine either way on that. But the mirror, what that does, that allows you when you slide that fish up, the two, you know, both the reflection and the actual fish are gonna meet each other. And what that's gonna do, this is gonna make it so much easier to judge these fish and also it's gonna prevent a lot of you from losing that quarter inch or half inch uh, or even disqualification from that fish being on the board. I've seen some really big fish get kicked off leaderboards or not leaderboards, but you know, the, uh, the leaderboards for these tournaments because of improper measurement. Different places do some different rules, but it's pretty much universal. I really think this is gonna make things easier for a lot of that. And one thing is, and this is the biggest feature in my opinion, is it floats. What you've got here, you've got these little foam blocks. So if this falls in the water, it's gonna float upright, just like you see here. That is huge. You can still, you've got the little tether point here. So if you got a little carabiner clip and some line or some rope, some string, again, you're gonna be able to tether it to the boat, but this is gonna float. It's not gonna fall to the bottom of the lake. Now the cost on this, this is 60 bucks. They're about the same price. And what I mean by that is the other feature I didn't talk about here, you have not one, but two holders 
These are for your tourney tags, and you've also got both the double-sided tape, which you see right here, but you've got the two pockets, you've got the double-sided tape, which you can stick both of these little sleeves on here. That gives you two different identifiers on this at the $60 price. You get a little bit better value, in my opinion, with the leaderboard than the catchboard, but is it enough for you to upgrade? So if you already own the catchboard, if you already own the ID holder like I do, is it worth the upgrade? Honestly, that's really gonna be up to the individual. I don't do a tremendous amount of competitive fishing. I really use this for taking pictures of fish. If I don't get a picture of the fish or he flops off, it doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. Don't get me wrong, I want those pictures. I wanna post them, I wanna share them with friends and stuff. But if you're, if you're even casually competitive fishing or in these tournaments, whether they're online or local or both, this is definitely worthwhile for you, I think. Um, don't discount catch. I fully expect them to come out swinging, come out with some new products. Competition makes companies better. These are both US company. They both stand behind their products. This is quality versus quality uh, in the true sense. But you get a lot of features with this. Now, the one thing that I will say is the glare is a little bit different. And you can kind of you can kind of see it right there. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a light here to the side. So you can kind of see the light. Honestly, I have not seen that that is a deal breaker with me, but it is, it is a little bit different. You do still get a glare with the yellow, but I do feel like the black versus the yellow is a little bit easier to read than the darker orange and the black. I've had people submit pictures to me with fish at night on the leaderboard and the catch board. So I don't think that's gonna be a huge deal, but it might wanna be something that you research a little bit if you're deciding between one of these or the other. If I didn't own either one of these, I would probably, I might lean a little bit more to this, although it's not, it's not the most convenient thing right now because a lot of kayaks aren't built to hold the width of this. That's coming. Uh, Yak Attack already has a double header with the roto grip holder that that holds the leaderboard. I'll show a picture of it because one of the, one of you guys sent me a picture of theirs with that same setup. Really, really nice. Uh, and again, if you've already bought the holders for the catchboard, you probably don't need to go out and buy the leaderboard. But if you're looking for maybe your catchboard is just kind of gunked up or it's got just a ton of fish on it, starting to you know the the, the numbering starting to kind of fade away a little bit. This might be worth it for you. It is a Yak Attack product, so it's the quality that you expect with Yak Attack. They kind of thought of a couple of different things, I think, that really, really swung it for me as far as the value. The biggest thing is having the ID holders come with it, and they also sell the side-mounted ones that go up here and can slide back and forth. This is also two as well, so this will kind of fold up, and you've got two different uh, ID holders on this as well. So if you want the two outside and the two up here, I even saw a picture of somebody had two side mounts on there for four tags. Again, you just like you would expect with Yak Attack, you can kind of configure everything kind of how you're wanting it to. Uh, Yak Attack, I always compare, you know, it's like Legos, you know, you can kind of build it like you want it. What do you think of the Yak Attack leaderboard? Uh, I'll post up some more of these pictures of people submitting them on both the catch and the Yak Attack board. You can kind of see what I'm talking about, about some of these fatter fish. And again, if you're, if you're out there catching these things, God bless you. But you may find the value in a wider board because of that. It looks better, it's a little bit easier to judge, I've been told. And it just, if you can find the space to put this on it, they've also got, I believe Yak Attack's got uh, kind of a holster that you can attach to your Black Pack Pro or your Milk Crate and this will slide right in and lock, so you can kind of keep it you know, on one side or the other. But there's gonna be some stuff come out for this. I, I can promise you that it's gonna make it easier to stow away, because there's some kayaks out there where there's just really not a lot of good room to even put the catch board. So Yak Attack leaderboard versus the catch carbonate. What, is, what are your thoughts? Are there some questions maybe that I didn't address in this video that you have? Let me know down in the comments below. Start a conversation down there. There's a lot of people that have experience with both of these products. And if you have any questions for me, I'm more than happy to uh, interact with you and address any of that. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one.